Hi, I'm Andrew Lamprecht. I am uh, permanently appointed to the Zico South African National Gallery in Cape Town, um, but I'm the guest curator here um, at the invitation of Vinko uh, for this exhibition called Stairways and Ruins. I think Stairways and Ruins comes out of a moment which we've all experienced, the COVID experience uh, lockdown. And of course today we're facing you know, the, the, the impending global catastrophe of world war virtually with the Ukrainian crisis. Um, so I think what's happened is a lot of artists during that time became very reflexive and they weren't able to necessarily show in galleries. There's been a long time for many people to exhibit their work in a gallery context. So what's quite exciting about this exhibition is a lot of artists that haven't shown for quite a while are participating in this exhibition. Um, a number of people from Potchefstroom University themselves, but people from as far afield as Cape Town, and uh, even somebody who was based in New York and produced their work there uh, have come to this exhibition. It's a reflection on the idea that we are in a situation of ruin. We were in a situation of ruin, but there's always a stairway, if you like, a stairway to the stars, a stairway to heaven um, that offers an escape from that. I think the works are very grounded. They're really grounded in literally the detritus of the experience we've had. And what's hope hopefully happening is people are able to find a way to emerge from that. So it's really about finding, finding a way, finding a place to be able to make art that is relevant to this incredible crisis which we've all experienced and we're currently facing. Well, the artwork behind me, Jan van der Meeuwen's Playground, is a good example of this. It's basically a collection of his children's toys, which uh, he's, he's collected for his entire life. It's virtually the entire gamut of, of his kids' toys that he's now placed on these, on these Hessian kind of um, uh, flags, if you like. And if you look at them carefully, they've got um, a mark making on the oil, other kinds of detritus. It really is the idea of a ruin, and yet the works move upwards. And, and so this idea that we can actually perhaps escape um, a current situation, we can escape our childhood, if you like, and we, we're growing up. I think that's, that's a really good um, exemplary work from the exhibition. But as you say, there are many works on the exhibition. It would be unfair to pick any one out. Um, uh, I think what people need to do is come and see the exhibition and see the dialogue that happen between works. That's what's quite exciting. You know, sometimes when you're creating a group show, you don't quite know what you're going to get until you get them. But what's fascinating is the conversations that are happening between works. People are talking about religion, people are talking about society, people are talking about the archive and the past. Quite a few people are, are working with archives and with historical narratives. So we've got, for example, Francis Kralen's work, which is an incredibly uh, intricate book object which is called Nam Bermuda and it refers to um, the prisoners of war during the, the South African War, the Anglo-Boer War, who were sent to Bermuda and it's made up of all these intricate little pieces, postcards, notes, um, the, the viewers themselves are invited to come and make notes, their own reflections on this and then you know that's in juxtaposition with um, uh, with, with a work like uh, Louise Marie Combrink's work which is about the current Ukrainian war. Right, and these have got books that have been painted black. They're also, interesting enough, little toys inside there. And what I think is so, so in interesting is that they're talking about very different periods of war, 100 years apart, and yet there's so many similarities. And again, if you look at Louise Marie's work, you will see that it's also moving upwards. It's this, this kind of sense of, let's move up from this detritus of the, of, of the ground, and let's move into something perhaps that is um, transcendent. This exhibition is for people who are having difficulty understanding the moment that we're in. I think what artists do is they provide us some insight into the world around us. And you know, sometimes I, 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 just people who have come to the pre-opening of the exhibition have, have burst into tears at, at some of these works. Because I think we have so much pain embedded in us at the moment, right? We've lost people in COVID. Everyone has been touched by this. We are, we are facing a kind of global catastrophe with war in, in, in Ukraine and Russia. And I think some, somehow it gives a release to people. They can actually see a potential that is both beautiful, um, beautiful and, and attainable. So I think it's an exhibition for anyone who has been touched by our current moment and giving them a little bit of respite and hopefully um, an emotional link to where we might be going.